Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this cheap water turbine from eBay. Now this is meant to output 10 watts and it's the 5 volt model. Now of course with every like cheap Chinese gadget, I'm not expecting it to really manage 10 watts. Probably similar to the, you know, the cheap Chinese LED bulbs. If it says 10 watts, it's probably 5 watts. So you can see on here it does have a little arrow telling you which way the water needs to flow. So these are actually standard household plumbing connectors. So you could actually screw this into your existing home plumbing. So if for you, for instance, you have a hose pipe in your garden, you could have it going through here, out the other end, and then the water pressure is gonna spin the little turbine inside and generate electricity while you're watering your plants. Or if you have a stream or a river or something like that near where you live, you could use this as a renewable energy generator. So quite a lot of options of what you can do with this. So let's hook this up and see what we can actually get out of it. So I've unscrewed my shower faucet and I've screwed in the turbine. The good thing is that you use a standard fitting, so it's very easy to remove this one and then just screw this one in place and then I've got a pipe coming off it just so I can direct the water away from the wires. So the first thing I'll do is just connect a couple crocodile leads to the output here and then I'll use my voltmeter to measure how much power we're getting from this and how fast or how high pressure the water has to be to get it up to voltage. So hopefully you can see this on camera. Let's turn on the water. So you can see we're now getting around 3.5 volts and that's Pretty low pressure let's turn it up a bit now I don't know if you'll be able to hear on camera but I can hear the turbine spinning pretty fast we're still at around 4.97 volts let's turn up the water pressure a bit yeah so it seems that at some point at some point it basically cuts off so it does have a built-in voltage regulator so it won't go over 5 volts so that's a voltage test let's actually connect a load to this and see what happens so what i've got here is a 5 volt led bulb now of course this fixture is a standard ac fixture and so is this plug but we're just going to use it for this because this is just a low voltage dc bulb so i'll connect our power hopefully the right way around but i know this won't be damaged if i get the polarity wrong anyway so let's turn on the water and there you go, you can see it's starting to light up. Let's increase the pressure. And there you go, we've got a solid light coming off that. So that lit up pretty easily. Now I'm not sure what the wattage of this bulb is. I think it's only around three watts. What I actually wanna do is connect a USB lead so I can use my USB watt meter just to make the whole thing easier so we can monitor voltage and current at the same time. So what I've got is this little micro USB connector where I've stripped off the end so I can connect that directly to the output. And then we can put that into my USB watt meter along with this dummy load. Now I'll start without the dummy load just so we can make sure this actually works. Okay, so there we go. You can see, or you might not be able to see on camera, but we're getting 4.97 volts. We'll start with our dummy load on just one amp. Let's turn on the turbine and see what it can manage. Okay, so far the watt meter isn't even turning on. Let me remove our dummy load. Okay, let's try connect our dummy load. No, I can hear the motor suddenly slows down as soon as I put in the dummy load. As soon as the dummy load is connected, basically we lose power. It's drawing too much power, I guess. And that's my water pressure on pretty much maximum, so it couldn't go any faster than that. So that's kind of disappointing because at 1 amp, 5 volts, that's only 5 watts, and this thing is meant to output 10 watts. And this is pretty high pressure. So we couldn't power our one amp load. Let's just see if we can at least charge a power bank, even if it's say a 500 milliamp. Got my power bank plugged into the watt meter. Let's turn on the water. Okay, so at the moment we've got low voltage, just 3.84 volts. And I think that's because we're trying to draw power. If I remove the power bank, yeah, you can see the voltage goes up to pretty much five volts. Let's add the power bank again. And the voltage has dropped 3.2 and it's not actually giving any current. I'm gonna try connect the watt meter directly to the output here, just in case we've got any loss across these crocodile leads. Okay, so I'll turn on the water. We've immediately got five volts, so I'll try to add my power bank. 
and the voltage has dropped, so this time to 4.23. I'll try to give more water pressure. No, it still can't manage it. So I'm kind of running out of ideas now about what to power by USB power, because if it can't even do this small power bank, I'm not think... Okay, that's strange. As I was talking then, I can hear a, a whining noise coming from the turbine here. But it stopped now. So I've decided to go back to our earlier test, which is this 5 volt bulb. And I've got it running through my watt meter here, so we can measure the voltage and the current, and ultimately how many watts we're producing. So let's turn on the water. So this bulb isn't actually consuming anywhere near what it can consume. It's currently at 4.5 volts and 280 milliwatt. So this bulb isn't lit up anywhere near as bright as what it can draw. It's only at 4.5 volts, 280 milliwatt. And I've seen this thing run at 3 watts or higher. So basically we're just not getting enough power from our turbine here. And this is really high water pressure, probably more than you could possibly get from say a stream or something like that. So yeah, no wonder we couldn't run our USB load. This thing is not anywhere near 10 watts at all. For anyone that's curious to see how much water is being produced here, it's quite a lot. That's quite a ferocious amount of water. And when I turn that off, I can feel this whole thing jolt from the pressure. So if anything, this is actually reducing the amount of pressure that I'm getting from this. Okay, I'm just gonna dry all this stuff and then we'll talk about what's happened here. So as expected, we didn't get anywhere near 10 watts but we actually got less than I expected. I thought we would get maybe five watts, maybe four watts, but we got pretty much nothing out of this, which is quite surprising because I've spun other motors at a similar speed using wind instead of water, and I was able to produce at least a couple of watts. And this is a, you know, a commercially made product. I would have expected a lot more from this. So based on those test results, I probably won't ever use this. So let's open it up and have a look inside. Okay, so there's our circuit board, and here's our motor. Oh, it's got actually quite a lot of friction. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be pretty smooth, but no, there's actually quite a lot of friction there. It doesn't spin very easily at all. So you can see when I spin it, this light comes on here, and it doesn't seem to matter which direction I spin it, it still works okay. Now, based on the setup here, I'm guessing this is a three phase motor and they're just doing the diode rectifying. So that should mean if I connect power here, it won't spin around. So let's try that. I'll just try feeding five volts from my power bank. You see, it lights up, but it's not spinning. So yeah, not too much to it. Um, pretty much just a big disappointment to be honest because I expected a lot more from it. So if you're looking at getting one of these from eBay, you might want to think twice and go for something larger or at least check out to see if you can find some reviews first. Now I might have just got unlucky with this one. Now I have seen people review these or talk about them, but I've never actually seen anyone hook it up to a water source and test the output. So you know, that's what we've looked at today. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.